So, sir, uh, what have you learned here at AUSA? Uh, what I've learned, uh, I've learned a great deal uh, about what you, AUSA does for the soldiers. And uh, for over the years, and a lot of years, I always knew part of what they did, but this just gave me a, a better picture and bigger picture of what AUSA does worldwide and how many different organizations out there uh, that's fighting for the soldier every day for the benefits for the soldiers, uh, better education, uh, all the other things for the families. Uh, I, I just saw so much more uh, being at this conference that uh, I didn't realize that uh, AUSA actually had going on. Now, if um, if I could give your unit, you know, money to buy anything that you saw here that would benefit your unit, what would you take back? Um, quality of life, I think, would be a priority for me, uh, money, money-wise, because. You know, AUSA is there for benefits, it's for families, it's for the injured soldiers. So I would look at hard at quality of life. Quality of life, first of all, for our injured warriors, and second would be for the families. Now, make life a little bit better for the families that support, support us all in this fight of terrorism. All right. Uh, are there any final comments you'd like to make? Uh, finally, I'd like to, uh, final comment, the uh, ex exhibition downstairs, uh, all the different displays of equipment. Uh, there's a lot of equipment out there that I didn't know about, and I'm quite sure there's a lot of my young soldiers out there don't know of a lot of the technology that that's available uh, for soldiers and, and for us to fight the fight in terror. Uh, and I picked up so much information that uh, I'm, I'm able to take back now uh, to my command and also relay some of that information back through my non-commissioned officers and to the soldiers that there is a lot more equipment out there than, than we know of. And uh, now I'm taking a lot of handouts and material. Uh, I've got contact uh, information. Uh, I've got a couple of companies to come on board that's willing to come out and give us a brief, uh, willing to let us test the equipment, not in a combat environment, but at least in a training environment, uh, so we can give some of these companies some feedback uh, to make the equipment better uh, and make it safer for our soldiers downrange in that fight. Yeah, that's an interesting point that you bring up because coming to a conference like AUSA, you actually get a chance to talk with the vendors who are creating the products, and uh, some of your inputs could benefit soldiers down the road and you know, in, in other units. Yes, I, I've, I've been able to talk to. Uh, my focus was on soldier equipment while I was here, as far as looking at all the different uh, layouts and, and uh, things. I looked at such things as the uh, vests, helmets. Uh, laser systems for weapons. Uh, I focused more on, on a soldierly type stuff we need to help protect our soldiers downrange in the fight. Uh, and I was able to get some feedback on some of the new equipment that not long so, so long ago went out to the units and uh, provided some of that data back to the uh, some of the vendors. So they were happy uh, to get that feedback. And now, uh, since I've been here, and, and again, I've got cards and, and uh, email addresses and phone numbers, we're going to stay now in constant contact, and I will continue to give those companies feedback to make that, again, make the equipment better for our soldiers. All right, cool. Uh, any final comments? Uh, no other comments. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, all right.